before we go any further, it's very important that you subscribe to our channel, people. Before I get ran down in October. Very important, peeps. If you please make sure, push that subscribe button right now. We need your support. It's not easy doing these videos. There's T's on the Three Pointers TV. Big up Marty. Big up Dubs. And we've got Honey as well. How you doing, Honey? You okay? Good. Good, yeah. It's uh, finished with the defeat, I'm afraid. I'm sure you all know by now. Finished Arsenal nil, Aston Villa 2. I'm with Marty, man. Very disappointing uh, this evening. Could have killed that off in the first half. First 19 minutes, I think we had five shots which all could have really gone in the back of the net. Uh, and, you know, literally, I mean, let's say let's say three of them go in. I think it's a very different game. Um, and, and, and we just feel failed to kill them off. They hit the post early on. Uh, yeah, that was from Watkins, yeah, right? That was Ollie, Ollie Watkins. Had Ollie Watkins. And he, listen, Ollie Watkins done what he needed to do. He was in the right place at the right time. He hit a post and he scored a goal and, um, you know, he, he had a good game. And, yeah, it's not surprising now. They sort of set themselves up. Really? Yes. yes. So, yeah. I mean, we had our opportunities. To be fair, though, Marty, my, I mean, that those that, that 40, 45 minutes, like with the Jesus, yeah. you had Saka, you know, yeah. hitting the well, side well, net. Well, I think, I think the, he got the subs wrong. I think he got subs wrong today. I don't think it worked when he took Oligard off. I think it changed the team. Um, and I think Jorginho bringing bringing John, Jorginho on at that time in the game didn't work as well. And I think. You know, I think that, that those subs were just a bit wrong for me. And then you're throwing a last chance saloon with Eddie Nketiah on, expecting to nick something. I think the game should just been killed off early on. But a fair play to Unai Emery. You know, he's a, a guy that got booed out of this stadium and absolutely hounded. And, uh, you know, and, and as, you know, as much as I hate to see it, I respect it. And the fact that he's done very well. We went to Villarreal, won the um, Europa League. Yeah, That's Europa it. League, he won yeah. the Europa League with them. Um, and then obviously he's come to Aston Villa, a relegation threat, re relegation threat and that Aston Villa side, and he's turned them around and he's come here and they've done a number on us. They smashed and grabbed us. They got the goals at the right time. They kept it tight, and then um, and then and, and then they cut us cut us down. So you know that's. Um... Do you think it's going to diminish um, Arsenal's confidence going into the the second leg of the Champions League on Wednesday? Well, look, let's see, let's see. This this is this is. You know, this is later on in the season, but this again has the potential to, you know, capitulate and lose it at the end of the season. We, you know, the games that we've got in front of us, with the teams we've got to play, you know, it was a similar sort of time last year when it all went a bit wrong. And, you know, we, we blamed it on a variety of things, but we've got to show our metal and our nerve and, and we've got to get over the line and we've got to finish it and, uh, uh, and get, the, get the job done. Right, so, I mean, we've got, I mean, sticking with the Premier League, I mean, we've got, we've got to go away to Wolverhampton. Um, Marty, I mean, if we do come out of the Champions League, would it sort of work in our favour to just concentrate and try and grab as many points as we possibly can and, and still fight for the Premier League? Uh, yeah, well, they're, 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 look, I, I think we've got the depth of the squad to... Are we quite there yet? I don't know. I think potentially we might have just had our answer with Ollie Watkins because he's been really good. And he could be the player that we could add to the squad. Uh, and, 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 and I'd say move Enketier on and, and have Watkins. I mean, he's going to, he'd have to, to earn, his, earn his starting role. And I could, see, I could see him fitting in here perfectly. Going back to the Aston Villa game, Marty, I'm surprised that Reese Nelson didn't come on. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I think, I don't know. I don't think it's just the time to bring Reese, bring Reese Nelson on. I don't know what he would have added to it. If I'm honest with you, uh, I just yeah, different. We, we just at the end of the game, we just didn't look right. We just, we just completely didn't look right. And I, I don't think those are the players. I, I, when I look at the Fabio Vieira's, the Enketias, I think that I know are those the players we, that we want to bring on on the bench and what they're gonna, what are they gonna do for us? What, the, you know the levels of. Are they game-changing players? No, they're not. You know, is it, but is, is Ollie Watkins a game-changing player? Yeah, he is. Right. That's what. That's that's. You know, players like that for me. You know, as, as harsh as it is, might need to be changed around in the summer. And that's what, yeah. You know, I'd imagine they're, they're already looking at. And uh, fair play again to Unai Emery for making that change. He brought on Bailey, didn't he? And then he finished the job. Yeah, Leon Bailey. Yeah, I mean, listen. Good, you know he's got some good. He's got well, some good he, well, not finished the job. I mean, Bailey, he got he got the goal, didn't he? Yeah, he got yeah, the first yeah. goal. 
Yeah, mate, listen, they've got some really good players. I mean, Tittman, you like the Tillemans, the John McGinn's, um, Moussa Diaz. Carlos, Carlos looked decent, Carlos didn't he? Carlos and Kuma, they're number four. Uh, really good player. And, uh, mate, we got we got beaten. It's disappointing. Yeah. We move on. We, we, we've got to have one eye on Bayern and, and, and we go from there, mate. Um, is, is it why? I mean... Just, I mean, I still need to go on with this, Marty. I mean, why? What is it about Arsenal when it comes to, especially like today? It was a big, massive advantage for us. I mean, Liverpool to to, to be beaten by Crystal Palace at their place by one goal to nil, and you know, me coming to the stadium, like all the pubs, we were, everyone was in annihilation. Everyone was celebrating. Everyone was just feeling joyous. Everyone was buzzing coming into the game. I know, I know. I see. This is this is this is the thing. What, what is it about Arsenal and failing to always take Before advantage? Before the game, I saw um, everyone was so happy, and you know, getting the Liverpool result, and it's there for the taking. We started well, and we didn't do it. That's the bottom line. So we bottled it. We, so you know, I, 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 you know, in the second half, we bottled it. I think Zinchenko was poor. I don't know how he didn't get hooked. We, we really need Jury and Timber. It, this couldn't be a better time, I think, for him. If he comes back how he started uh, at the start of the season, I think we, we you know, this this could be exactly what we need because this left back situation is a bit of a problem as well. And you know, bring, you know, Ollie Watkins could be, you know, again a really good option. You yeah. know, yeah, and that's it. That's that. That's I don't. I, that, that's what I would take out of this game, take from this game and move forward with it. All right, thank you, Mike. Just one last question. And uh, is it Man City's for the taking? Yeah, of course it is. I, I, I will now see Man City go on and kick on and win this. I, I just think with two, the two teams that have won, they, they demolished Luton. And that's what, again, championship winning sides do. They demolish teams. And we have done that. But at this stage of the season, you know, we've, we've uh, listen, they've got a leg against Real Madrid on Wednesday. And they've got, They've just had Real Madrid and then they just went and done that to Luton. You know, we, we two all them and, you know, it's... That's oh, right, two, 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 two nil them. So, yeah. we'll see. We'll see. All right, Marty, thank you very much. Just quickly, honey, how are you feeling right now? A little bit disappointed? Yeah. Yeah, were you looking forward to, to Arsenal getting the victory today? Yeah. Yeah, who did you have? What was the score? What was the scoreline prediction for you? 2-1 to Arsenal. 2-1 to the Arsenal. And what about the, the goal scorers? I don't know. Maybe Saka? Yeah, Saka. Oh, OK, then. Well, look, we're still in it. It's not over yet. Can Arsenal still win the Premier League, honey? Yeah. Love that. You see, that's why we love the kids. See, they're always hopeful. They never give in. Thank you, honey. Do you want to big up the Three Pointers TV for us? Big up the Three Pointers TV. Thank you so much. Listen, man, it's been a, it's been a bit of a, it's a tough pill to swallow again, and um, it's onwards and upwards. We've got Bayern Munich on Wednesday, so it's still, still, still up for grabs. I still believe. I still believe. This is Tease from the Three Points TV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's try and get the fan cams. Big up Curtis, for Liam, Ryan, and uh, all the three pointers viewers. We thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.